Hello everyone, welcome to today's One Card Wonder Wednesday. It's me, Valerie, from Stampin' with Valerie. I'm going to get my video to try and pull up here. That's my shadow of my arm you see on the left there. Hopefully I can get it. There we go. Just wanted to make sure everything is pulling up so I can see when everybody pops on and I can see how my video is going. So I did a poll um, yesterday and I ended it today around noon to see um, a choice between Harvest Hello stamp set and the Brightly Gleaming stamp set and Harvest Hello's one. So that is what I am using today. I just got this stamp set. It has been on my list since the catalog came out, but I'm finally getting around to using it. I'm glad you all chose this one. So this stamp set is fantastic because you can use it, obviously for teachers. You've got the to an A plus teacher, um, sentiment. You can make apples with it. You can make pumpkins with it. You've got um, leaves for your apples and for your pumpkin plants. The little um, vine for your pumpkin plant. Um, hey there pumpkin. Give thanks. So you could make little Thanksgiving cards with it as well. You make me smile. You have an apple slice. You have apple seeds. This makes an, a fantastic border on your card or something to stamp on the inside of your card. And then we also have the jack-o-lantern face. But today we are going to make an apple card and I'm really excited about this card. So I hope you like it as much as I do. This is the card and I did You Make Me Smile because I thought I might, you know, I don't have any teachers to give this to right now. Like my son is no longer in school and I just wanted to use it as a general card. So that's why I use the You Make Me Smile. And then on the inside, I have one of the little apple slices. Isn't that adorable? I thought it turned out really great. I'm just going to set it over here on the side so you can hopefully still see it right there. I think you can. Get my, move my markers out of the way, move them right here. And we'll just go ahead and get started. I mean, why waste any time, right? So you're gonna start with Poppy Parade cardstock. Fold it in half, use your bone folder. I know I stress that a lot, but it really, really does help get a good crease and it doesn't wear on your fingers or your fingernails if you use your bone folder. Then you're gonna have a piece of Whisper White that you are gonna emboss with the corrugated 3D embossing folder. Now, what I love about this is obviously it gives it that corrugated look, but it's just a fantastic piece of texture for your card. Now, I will say I have found if you try to use Snail and you're pushing on it, it kind of flattens it out. If you, um, even sometimes if you're trying to use tear and tape because you're trying to push it on there and then peel it off, it kind of smushes it down. So my recommendation is to use the Tombow glue and just go down the side, try and go down right on the ends. Um, as much as you possibly can. I mean, sometimes you'll get an end like I have here where it's the raised up or the indented, so it's not gonna do any good, but I put a little glue there anyway. And the nice thing about using Tombow is you can slide your piece around just a little bit until it dries if you don't have it exactly in the right place. Like right now, I kind of pushed it down so I can slide it back to where I want it. And then don't really push on it, just kind of pat it just a little bit because you don't want to squish that awesome corrugated um, design that you worked on so hard. Next, you're gonna cut a piece of designer series paper. And this is from the Brights designer series paper and the color um, family packs that you get come in six by six and they're double-sided so you have the gingham and you have this fantastic little um, diamond pattern. I call it the stitch diamond pattern. Now for this piece, I am going to use snail, and here's why. Now that I already have that piece down, once I do the snail on here, and I'm gonna go across this entire piece because it's kind of skinny, this is gonna stick just fine. You're gonna add it on here. Wanna make sure I get it even. And then you're just going to go over it just lightly like that. And now it's stuck. It's not going to go anywhere now. I didn't push so hard that I squished the corrugated part. So you don't have to worry about that. Then you're going to take another piece of that paper. And you can see I've already used some of this. I'm going to turn it this way so it'll be easier for me when I stamp on it. 
and we're gonna take some Poppy Parade because that is the color we are going with for these apples is Poppy Parade. Take some Poppy Parade ink. We are going to stamp that apple outline and we're gonna stamp it twice. And now I did stamp it earlier in the Memento ink and I didn't care for it as much the way it made the outline look. I kind of liked how it blends in a little bit with this Poppy Parade for that outline. So that's why I'm sticking with that. And now you're also gonna um, stamp one of these slices. And I know that sounds a little silly, but we're gonna stamp one of those slices on there as well. Then we're gonna clean that slice because we're gonna use that again in just a minute. And we'll close this up so it's out of the way and I don't stick my fingers in it because we know how that goes, right? Sometimes it just happens. And I'm going to cut just cut this little apple slice off from here so it doesn't get in my way while I'm punching and I don't want to accidentally punch it. I don't think I will, but again, you never know. So in this bundle, the Harvest Hellos bundle, you get this apple punch and I'm trying to move it just so you can see. You get the, that apple and pumpkin shape and then you've got a leaf and then you've got a stem. So when I punch this, regardless of whether I want to or not, I'm gonna get a gingham leaf and a gingham stem. Now I'm not gonna use those for this card, but I will probably set those aside and use them on another project later. Because why not? Why not have a gingham stem and a gingham leaf on something, right? It'll be fun. Not today, but another day. Or if you wanna use the other side with that little stitch, but I kinda like the gingham side. I'm just gonna push those out of the way because I don't need them right now. Now, isn't that cute though? So you could still do, that side would make a cute apple as well, but today we're going with gingham. Then we're gonna take a scrap of Whisper White. We're going to open up that memento and we will go ahead and I'm gonna stamp one of these apple slices. I'll just do it on this end. And then I'm going to stamp the leaf twice. And because of the way this punches, where the leaf is facing this way, I kinda wanna make my leaf face that way because I'm gonna be punching it out. And we need to let those dry just a little bit. They don't have to, you know, be dry all the way by any means right this second, but right, we're just gonna let them dry a little bit. And I'm gonna take that punch again while those are drying. And I'm just gonna take a piece of soft suede and I'm gonna just it's just a scrap piece and I'm just lining it up with that stem and just punching a couple of stems because I want those in soft suede hi Chrissy hi Lois how are you so now that I've got those I'm gonna grab my blends and I used soft suede dark and I just colored in that apple seed done with that it's all I did with that just that apple seed and then petal pink light, and I'm just going to do that little area that's around the seed, the little, I don't know what you would call it, in the core of the apple, I guess, and just do that. The rest I'm gonna leave white because I don't need any of that to be colored. And then I'm gonna take my granny apple green dark. I'm gonna just do down the veins of the leaves. Hi Fran, how are you? Thank you for joining us. I think Fran, and Lois have been two of my ladies who have watched the most. Chrissy's right there in the group too because Chrissy watches pretty regularly. Um, so I wanna thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. And then use that granny green, granny apple green light just to color in your leaves. And now before I punch, I am just going to cut off this excess paper on the right hand side and I'm gonna cut that little apple slice off because we don't need them. And I'm going to do the leaf on the right first. And you can see I'm just lining up that leaf with the leaf that's here. And for this one, since there will be some extra, see if I would have done the leaf on the left first, I would have ended up cutting into. Yes, Chrissy, I totally understand. Chrissy has a six month old. She's six months now, right? So yeah, of course, there are going to be times when you can't watch and that's okay. I totally understand no pressure so now i've got those i'm gonna put a little dot of 
the Tombow multi-purpose glue at the top of each of these apples and put a stem on there. I'm not even gonna push it down yet because I wanna get a leaf on there now. Good, I was right, yay, six months. That's a fun age because they're really just starting to figure things out good then, you know, sitting up and food and all that stuff. And then just glue your little leaf right on there to your apple. And then now we're gonna work on our slice that's gonna go in the center of the card. So what I wanna do is I wanna cut around this entire slice and I'm gonna leave that in the center. All the, I'm gonna cut this entire slice basically is what I'm saying. I'm not leaving anything off. Get rid of that little scrap. Fran's baby is 31. Well, I think your baby is way past the figuring things out, right? Well, I don't know. We're all still figuring things out throughout our entire life, I guess. So now take this white um, apple slice that we um, stamped and we're gonna cut off the skin because we don't want that skin. And we're just gonna cut the center of the apple here and get all of this. And I kind of cut into the line a little bit and then you'll be able to see that when I pull this up. You can see there's still some um, memento ink there because I didn't want it to be quite as thick. And then I did the same here. I just cut right down the center of that memento line. And now that you have that, go ahead and take some more of that Tombow glue and we're gonna glue this piece to this piece. And the reason I did this is because I wanted gingham apple skin because we have gingham apples. So the apple that's going on the inside of your card needs to have some gingham skin, right? And I figured it was easier to cut this part out than to cut that little thin slice of um, apple skin. So there we go. That's how I did that. Aren't you proud of me? I'm pretty proud of me. All right, so we're gonna take Memento and we're gonna stamp the sentiment, you make me smile. I love this font that's in here. It reminds me of old typewriters. I guess that's kind of the font it is. I don't know, what do you all think? I'm gonna hold it up just so you can let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you think. I mean, that reminds me of an old typewriter. That's what that font totally reminds me of is typing something and I'm aging myself here in all caps on an old typewriter. So I just love this font. It's very nostalgic for me. Um, so what I did was I fussy cut these letters out or these words out. And it really doesn't take that much to do this when you've got the capital letters like that. It's really just straight lines. And I did each word separately. I'm gonna get rid of these little pieces or I'll be sticking dimensionals on the back of them. So I'm gonna have the you and make and me and smile all separate. And what I did with those is I just took, um, one of my pieces of dimensionals here and I just cut little strips on the side of it and then I used my take your pick tool which do you love this tool like seriously I absolutely love this tool again if you love this tool let me know I think it's fantastic if you have this tool let me know I think it's so great if you don't you need to get one and from those strips, I just stuck them onto the back of the words. Now, the only one that's a little smaller is the word me. So this last strip, when you pull it off, you're just gonna have to cut it in half. And then I just take that little piece that's stuck to the scissors and stick it on there. And now that's another great thing about this take your pick tool is you can use it to peel those tiny little backings off. Ta-da! It's like magic. Because sometimes when I'm peeling them, my fingers are sticking or it's 
or I've got like something else on my finger and then I stick that to the back uh, because you know how it is when you're crafting. You got a sequin stuck to you. You've always got something stuck to you. Doesn't matter. Oh good, Lois can't live without hers. Yeah, I can't live without mine either, Lois. I absolutely love it. Now that I've got the backings off those, I'm just gonna leave them there for just a second. And I'm gonna get some of the regular size Stampin' Dimensionals and put a couple on the back of these apples. And I just did three, one at the bottom, two at the top. And now these ones for me are easier to peel off than those tiny little strips. When I use those little strips like that, I have to use my take your pick tool to peel them. But when I do this, not a problem. I can get these ones off. We're gonna go ahead and stick our first apple on. And I kind of brought them over onto that other designer series paper strip, which is nice because this is just the back. This is the one side and this is the other side of those designer series paper strips. And then I kind of flip this apple just a little bit the other way. And then use your take your pick tool to pick these bad boys up. You're gonna obviously do you first. Make, and if you pick it up backwards, just flip it around. You make. And you can make them kind of a little bit crooked if you want. This one's gonna look a little bit different than that one because it all, where I put them on this corrugated was where it was raised up. So this one's gonna look just a little bit different than that one just because of where my apples fell on the card. So now to finish it off, we're gonna cut a piece of this fantastic um, basic black scalloped edge trim. I think it's three eighths of an inch wide. And we're gonna cut it at about five and a quarter. And isn't this fantastic? On our paper, we have that measurement. We don't even have to get a ruler out. We can just go for five and a quarter right here. Just cut that. I know I'm using my paper snips, but they're my newer pair, so they're not too bad. Then flip it over. You're gonna take some tear and tape and I stick it directly to the ribbon. I could put it on the card, but this time I did it directly to the ribbon because I wanted to show you this is a way that you can do it as well. Hopefully I'm not getting it too crooked on there because it was moving around on me. And then just trim that edge off. And then again, you take your pick tool because it's fantastic to peel that. And you don't want to go right on the end. Actually, I might be able to go right on the end if it's stuck down good enough. Just kind of get under there. And it's hard when it, it's a little harder when it's stuck to the ribbon than if you stick it to paper and you can hold that paper down. This piece of ribbon doesn't want to stay down. Maybe if I do it from this side. It's like the, there we go. I keep poking right into the adhesive. Once you've got that adhesive on there, and I did make it crooked, so this one's gonna be a little bit wavy, but it's gonna look cute. I'm gonna stick it right on this edge because it's kind of going wherever that, it actually looks kind of cute, look wavy like that. It's got a little wave to it. That's all right. That's what happens when you go live. Sometimes it's not perfect. Flip the inside of your card open. You are going to add a piece of Whisper White cardstock on the inside. Let me grab a piece. I know I have some over here. Setting off to the side because I had them ready and then I covered them up with dimensionals and markers and whatnot. So they're not as visible as they were when I started. Go ahead and you can use again, you could use Tombow if you want to, but I prefer the snail. Then take some Tombow glue for the apple though. I like the Tombow glue on this piece because I'm gonna go all the way to the edge of the card, not just the edge of the Whisper White, but I'm gonna bring it over to the edge of this Poppy Parade. Look, I have Stampin' Dimensional stuck to my glue. I'm telling you, things are always stuck somewhere, right? Doesn't matter who you are. If you're crafting, you're gonna get glue, and I've got it on my finger now. And then I take this apple piece and because it's kind of square at the, you know, at the bottom and then you got just that piece on the slice. I bring it right to the edge and that's it. Voila, we're done. What do you think? I think it's gorgeous. I love this apple slice on the inside. That's like, 
I know the whole card is great, but that is one of my favorite parts is that silly apple slice because I have gingham skin on that tiny apple slice, right? So if you like today's card, give me some hearts, give me some love, share my video, start a watch party, whatever you want to do, case my card, make it, put it in the comments. That would be fantastic too. So I hope you enjoyed today's One Card Wonder Wednesday. I will be back again next Wednesday and maybe I will do another um, poll to see if there is um, a preference between two different stamp sets. I kind of like doing that today. So maybe I'll start doing that every once in a while. And that Fran, I see, I see it now. I see you use your spatula to remove the paper. Oh yeah, that's a good idea to help remove the stitch dies. That's awesome. I know, Lois, isn't that fantastic that you can measure on your paper? And it's even on the other paper as well, the, the bigger paper. But And this is the holiday paper, and you can go online and order this. All you have to do is put in, um, if you go to um, valeriesmith.stampinup.net, you can go on and just in the search bar put grid paper, and this will come up. On the other side, it is green, green and white, and it's Christmas trees. I think they're just triangular shaped. Let me check. Let me see if I can find my paper. I don't know where I put it after I opened it. No, actually it is the trees that match the tree punch. So it's kind of those trees. Yes. But anyway, look online, check it out. And I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday evening. Bye. Oh, all the measurements will be on my blog in just a little while. Have a good day.